Facebook is blocking a lot of ad accounts and it is not just Facebook a lot of other services in India like Netflix like Amazon Prime all these services are also blocking the accounts of users and the reason behind that is the RBI's e-mandate now what is this e-mandate about now RBI had released a new e-mandate for all the banks for all the credit card companies all the uh, service providers that no recurring transactions can happen without the validation or the verification of the user each time the payment has to be made now in simple terms if let's say you have a netflix subscription and you have put your credit card as the payment method and netflix every month let's say deducts 600 700 rupees from your credit card and you automatically make payments to the credit card company so you're not paying directly to netflix because you have set up a recurring payment with netflix through your credit card not just for netflix but even for facebook ads so what i had also done was i had used my credit card as the payment option for my facebook ad account right so facebook would keep charging money uh, to my credit card and at the end of the month i would get the bill and i would pay it off in one go right so i didn't have to up have a prepaid balance for my facebook ad account now what rbi says in this e-mandate is now they can't automatically bill my credit card whenever a new payment happens right so whenever facebook has used up let's say 5000 rupees in my account they can't automatically deduct that money from my credit card they have to first get my authorization every time a bill is generated only if i authorize using my otp only can then facebook charge money to my credit card now the problem is facebook and all these companies were not prepared for this even though this mandate was announced early this year in 2021 all these companies did not follow that rbi even gave an extended deadline and finally rbi said no now is the time if you don't do it then you are flouting the rules so now suddenly all companies have started doing this and what happened is because facebook could not charge automatically to credit cards so all the ad accounts that had credit card as the primary payment method stopped working because every account had this balance unpaid balance and facebook stopped the ads for everyone it's happened with me uh, it took four five days for me to get my account back and i want to show you my current account status you can see that um, now Facebook has started writing that the RBI e-mandate requires payment methods to be verified and all of that and my ads have stopped running pay the amount due uh, to continue running the ads now my account balance was completely clear and I just had I think 150 rupees uh, which is a couple of dollars in unpaid balance so the first thing when I got my account blocked the first time what I did was I went to the help center also these days they call it the facebook concierge support so when you press this help icon here you can just go on the right side and you can create a support ticket with the facebook concierge support so you can chat with a real facebook executive uh, in real time so let's say i need help with the failed payment all i have to do is i need to add this and they will give you some article let's say you, you're not satisfied with this article then you can contact the support and you can just select chat where you have to wait for two minutes and you will reach there right so this is one way so i've already done that once and i connected with facebook chat support because none of my payment methods were working even though i wanted to make a payment of the unpaid balance but it still wasn't working so facebook said that they would resolve this within 24 to 48 hours but after 48 hours when it still wasn't resolved i started sending them follow-ups every day right so you get an option to send a follow-up i started doing that every day and after that a couple of days um what they did was they created a credit for me so they eventually were able to charge my credit card and they issued me some credits which i could use and i used them up like in a couple of days and after that when the next bill is generated they couldn't charge it to my credit card again i think after first october they were unable to charge it earlier the chat support didn't even know what was happening so at least now they have this reason of why the payments are failing so there are two ways of doing the payment one is you can add the new payment method or you can add funds and add funds means you can prepay and add 
money into your wallet and whenever your bill is generated facebook will just keep deducting from there so i did try the ad payment method earlier but it didn't work because i have an amix card and i have a couple of other cards none of them worked so facebook isn't accepting those cards they say that they are not verified by rbi yet so i didn't have a way so what i did was i went to add funds so i used my spi debit card which is a normal national debit card it's not even an international card and luckily that worked so i tried adding 1000 bucks and um, i got an otp and eventually they got added so i added 1000 bucks and you can see that the almost 1000 bucks is added so that means no pending funds and you can add more money to this and like i said none of my other payment methods are working only my card was working i haven't tried upi or paytm or net banking but i'm guessing that even paytm might work so you have to select one let's say i will select this one and i'll press add funds and all you need to now do is enter your cvv number which is the three digit um in case of amex this is going to be a four digit but that's not working so the moment you do it that will get added and your funds will start showing up I've also heard that a couple of other cards are also working so HDFC cards uh, some people are telling me that they are working some people are saying Kotak bank cards are also working in India so if you don't have a card you might want to ask a friend or a family member to borrow their cards and try making a payment you can also try the UPI method if that works for you the Paytm method if that works for you and i really hope you get your accounts back and all your ads start running now i had spoken about this rbi e mandate some time back on instagram so if you are not following me on instagram and you would like to stay updated with what's happening in the digital marketing space follow me on instagram and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to stay updated with more such tips and tricks and a lot of strategy videos on digital marketing my name is puneet tandon this is young urban project i will see you in the next video bye